Okay, one more video from the park this afternoon. Uh, this is just going to be a quick response to the Don't Tell show. Uh, you asked on Twitter about making short videos in between the longer and more ambitious projects, kind of like, as like a teaser for the longer uh, films, and uh, you asked whether, uh, you know, whether you think this is a good idea. And I have to say, I think it is. Uh, I think it's a real good idea because one of the things that I've uh, found myself is that making short videos, uh, there's, a, there's a number of things I really like about it uh, as far as doing it, especially doing it as something in, in between uh, the longer, more involved projects. Uh, one thing is, it, for me personally, it's a great way to develop some ideas and kind of try some you know, try some different things out that I might end up doing in a, in a longer film, especially because I love making short comedies. So for me, uh, doing the short comedies, especially like improv style, it's a great way to build the, uh, you know, the improv skills and, and you know, work on uh, improvising. And that way when I'm doing the, the longer films, you know, if, if I'm doing it improv style, it's great practice for that. And all, or even if it's a scripted project, but there is a... Uh, the need arises to improvise in some way, uh, it, it's good practice for that. So I think, that, you know, there's a, there's a lot to learn from it. But um, then I also find it can be like a great way to unwind between the larger projects. Or like if I'm, sh like right now I'm shooting a, a, a new feature length project and it's, that I, th I think if you make short films even even while you're shooting a feature it can be kind of like a nice way to unwind a little bit from the stress that can present itself with the bigger projects um, I know that sounds a little weird to like relax from making a movie by making another movie but uh, I've done it before and it, and it, it, do it does seem to kind of uh, I, th I think because you can take a more relaxed approach sometimes maybe and so it kind of allows you to reconnect with the really uh, the fun parts of making the film when uh, other aspects of it are becoming more, more, more stressful or time-consuming or whatever. Um, but you also said something interesting there about uh, viewing the shorts as, I think you said like teasers or, uh, I, think, I think you said teasers for the, the longer and more ambitious projects. Now, I'm not entirely clear if you meant that in the sense of using them as uh, like proof-of-concept trailers for ideas and subjects that you want to develop into bigger films or if you just meant more as a way to keep viewers engaged uh, in between the bigger projects. And I, just speaking for myself, I mean, I think the latter approach is, is a really good idea. Uh, it's, it's kind of something I've uh, come to do myself. I, I sort of view it that way, making uh, short, short videos as a way just to, uh, you know, in addition to all the other things I said, you know, it's also just a way to you know, give people something to check out and kind of give them a reason to come back and uh, check out what you're doing, you know. Of course, the danger there is you don't want to get burnt out either. I know that that's, that's always an issue with, uh, with these things, you know. You don't want to get burnt out, you know, trying to create too much. I, I kind of ran into that with just even doing these uh, vlogs a while back. You know, I found that the, the process of creating the vlogs could get uh, a, a, a little... Um, you, know, you could get burned out even from that, so you know th there's always that to consider. But I don't know. I I, th I think there's I think there's a lot of you know different reasons to do it. Um, I guess my my short response is yes, it's a good idea. And uh, just on a personal note, I've really enjoyed the short videos of yours that I've seen. So uh, you know, look forward to seeing what else you come up with. Anyway, just thought I would respond in video form to share a few more thoughts than would fit on Twitter, and. Uh, Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.